Hi there. Today I'm gonna do a bonefish fly. This is a Charlie inspired fly, uh, and I'm gonna well do a bit of a diff this and that uh, throughout this pattern. It's a, it's a nice little uh, nice little fly uh, made to to rest on the surface. It's fairly simple, uh, but but highly efficient. Uh, works very very well, but uh, is is uh, is is as I said, uh, fairly easy to uh, fairly easy to uh, to to do. Well, First of all, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to apply some dumbbells. Uh, I want these dumbbells to ensure that this fly, when it uh, when it hits the water, when when it uh, when it uh, and and especially when it hits the, the bottom of, of a shallow flat, that this fly stands with the with the the hook the hook point uh, pointing upwards. Because this way, when the bonefish come cruising, uh, when uh, when you when you when when actually the bonefish spot this this fly, they will. Um, they will, they will, they will be able to pick it up, and you will be able to have your fly laying on the bottom without getting any snags, because your hook will be upside down, will be like this. Um, so that's why I'm gonna attach uh, my head here. As you can see, I've made a fairly large amount of uh, a fairly, a fairly solid amount of uh, of tying thread here, and uh, and this is simply to ensure that uh, that my uh, that my dumbbell eyes. Uh, will stay exactly where I put them. There is a trick to to applying these dumbbell eyes. As you can see, what I'm doing is I'm I'm tying uh, eight figure uh, loops here, but that's often not enough. Um, it's also important to have a, a, th a strong thread. Uh, the the thread I'm using here is uh, is, is a future fly thread, but but uh, uh, basically any anything with uh, with Kevlar or something like that to it is 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 is, is good. But to really really ensure that the that uh, the 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 dumbbells stay there, what you need to do is you need to tie uh, you need to tie horizontal turns. You need to tie turns around the eyes but beneath the eyes because this way when you pull taut as you can see here when you pull taut you will actually all the all the turns you've made in in eight uh, in eight loops uh, will be will be pulled very very tightly together and this way your eye will of course uh, your your eyes will of course stay exactly where you want them to be good so far so good now i'm going to take the thread here and move it down into the uh, when you're tying bonefish flies of course it's important to use uh, to use a strong hook this is uh, a varivas hook Var varivas uh, or however you pronounce it it's it's the uh, the 2600 stv uh, a new hook to me but really a hook with the, with the tremendous cool hooking pro properties because it's um, it has a very wide gate and um, it's it's of course uh, 100% uh, salt water resistant, so so uh, a perfect hook for 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 this type of fly. Next stage is is taking some uh, some uh, some flashy boo dubbing, uh, flashy boo dubbing in uh, in pearl. And this is going to be the body part of the fly. So as you can see, I'm tying this a bit down into the hook bend here. So bit more Trying to taper this as much as possible. Just gonna try something for a second. I think that actually worked better. Not too much background lighting. 
it's it's difficult <laughs> getting the lighting right with these uh, fly tying videos and, uh, and 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 white materials. White is a bitch <laughs> to to film. It's <laughs> and it's a bitch to f take pictures of. <laughs> oh, oh, that's that's just how it is. So, just gonna take a small amount here, like this. Good. So. Now you have uh, now you have the basic outline, the basic uh, part of the of the body here. Uh, uh, of course, I'm kind of going to trim that off a bit, or maybe draw a bit more of of that out and stuff like that. And now what we're doing is is we're turning this fly upside down because this is actually how it's going to stand on stand on on the bottom like this with the with the hook pointing upwards because we have weighted it like we have. And what we want now is we want uh, this to to actually look like <laughs> like bonefish food. So. What I'm doing is I'm taking uh, I'm taking five or six of these uh, these wriggle eggs like this, uh, and this is uh, this is the brown bard with uh, with uh, with orange uh, orange uh, orange tips and uh, one of my all-time favorite uh, favorite colors. Just gonna trim these so they are not uh, completely even in length, like that. And then I'm gonna tie these down so they're a bit longer than the hook. I'm gonna tie these on here on the, on the underside here. Like this. You can see these will stand out, stand up. And then once I'm sure that this is fastened correctly, I'm going to take the other ones and uh, and fold backwards as well and tie on top of those as well. So everything will be folding back. Some of these are is going to be too long, I know, but uh, but I'm going to I'm going to trim them later. Like so. <laughs> yeah, I know this looks a bit uh, a bit uh, a, a, a bit chaotic, but that's okay. That's okay for now. What we need now is we need a bit more of. Uh, we need a bit uh, polar dubbing, STF dubbing, in uh, in tan to uh, to make uh, to make this uh, this look even better. To give it kind of like a small beard as well. So I'm folding everything back here, and then I'm gonna tie this down. Right there as well, like so. Gonna cut the front part of this off. So this basically will look like a small shrimp or a small something, probably something that is a bit annoyed with its legs sticking out in every which one direction when the bonefish comes. And uh, then finally, I'm gonna finish it off with uh, a bit more of uh, flesh abu dubbing here and you can actually use this to uh, to to pull everything uh, to to force everything in place like so taking a bit more to to finish the fly here And there you have it, a small crazy Charlie. <laughs> Variation. <laughs> which uh, which really really does the trick. The the Rickle legs is, is, is phenomenal for these uh, for these saltwater flies. Really really uh, awesome awesome material. Like so. I look strange. I look strange, but I wonder, I'm sure bonefish will grab me. <laughs> well, thanks for uh, for uh, for tuning in. Those were uh, those were the words.